Hello everyone, I am Hadrara May S. Bayang and welcome to our newest video. Hello everyone, I am Darjan J. Asdale and today we'll be discussing about authentic assessment. Assessment is a critical component of the online classroom. It provides students with an idea of their progress in a course, identifies individual strengths and weaknesses, and ultimately serves as the measure of whether students achieve the course's learning objectives. Although each of these characteristics serves a valuable instructional function, it is also important that assessments engage students and prepare them with the skills they will need in the future courses, practicums, and even their careers. For our learning objectives for today, at the end of the lesson, the students are expected to discuss the essence and uses of authentic assessment. Number two, explain and reflect the samples of authentic assessment, its importance, relevance, and applications in assessing students' learning. So now, let us define first authentic assessment. Authentic assessment refers to the procedures for evaluating learner achievement or performance using activities and tasks that represent classroom goals, curricula, and instruction, and in real-life situations. Meaning, it is a form of assessment in which students are asked to perform real-world tasks that demonstrate meaningful application of essential knowledge and skills. To understand more, the authentic assessment, let us differentiate it with the traditional assessment. So, authentic assessment is a performance-based assessment in which it uses real-life situations. It is more on applications and constructions. It is student-structured and it is used as a direct evidence of the achieved learnings. On the other hand, traditional assessment is more on selecting a response, it is contrived, it is more on recalling and recognition of the past lessons, it is teacher-structured, and it is used as an indirect evidence. In the next slide, we have here some of the examples of an authentic assessment. The first one is the journals. Journals can be used by the teachers to assess the student's learning based on their written works or reflections. The second one is the portfolio. It is a collection of a student's work that represents the best of his learning effort. The third one is an oral interview. Teachers can ask questions to the students about personal background, activities, readings, and other interests. And here are the other examples. Teacher observations, storytelling, constructed response items, and exhibitions. So now, let us move on to the related terms for an authentic assessment, which are the performance assessment, alternative assessment, and direct assessment. The first one is the performance assessment. An authentic assessment is called performance assessment since students are required to perform meaningful and realistic tasks. The second one is an alternative assessment. An authentic assessment is also called an alternative assessment since it is an alternative way of assessing and evaluating students' learning that is different from the traditional form of assessment. The third and the last one is the direct assessment. An authentic assessment provides more direct evidence of a meaningful application of knowledge and skills. Students' demonstration of the application of the knowledge and skills is the best indicator of that learning. So, we have just finished the related terms for an authentic assessment. And now, we will begin to discuss about the characteristics of a good authentic assessment. In this slide, we can see here that Regions 1998 identifies a few key criteria that make an assessment authentic. The first one, it should be realistic. The second one, it should require judgment and innovation. The third one, it should ask the students 
to do the subject. The first one, it should replicate the context in which adults are tested in the workplace, in civic life, and in personal life. The fifth one, it should assess the student's ability to effectively and efficiently use a supply of knowledge and skill to negotiate a complex task. The sixth and the last one, it should allow appropriate opportunities to rehearse, practice, consult resources, and get feedback on and refine performances and products. And now, let us take a look with the steps in creating an authentic assessment. Step number one is to identify the standards. Standards like goals are statements of what students should know and be able to do. However, standards are typically more narrow in scope and more amenable to assessment than goals. Step number two, we will select an authentic task. Find a way students can demonstrate that they are fully capable of meeting the standard. The language of a well-written standard can spell out what a task should ask students to do to demonstrate the mastery of it. Step number three, we will identify the criteria for the task. First, we should ask ourselves, what does good performance on this task look like? Or how will I know they have done a good job on this task? Remember, criteria are indicators of good performances on a task. Step number four, we will create the rubric. Once you have identified the criteria you want to look for as indicators of good performance, you next decide whether to consider the criteria analytically or holistically. Let's talk about the purposes of authentic assessment. Why use authentic assessment? So there are four reasons why the teachers use the authentic assessment. First, the authentic assessment are direct measures. We do not just want the student to know the content of disciplines when they graduate. We of course want them to be able to use the acquired knowledge and skills in the real world. So our assessment have to also tell us if students can apply when they have learned in authentic situations. Thus, authentic assessment gives students the chance not to not only the content, but to actually apply the knowledge in a meaningful way. It allows for more direct evidence of learning the skills through demonstration or application. Authentic assessment integrated teaching, learning, and assessment. In the authentic assessment model, the same authentic task used to measure the student's ability to apply the knowledge or skills is used as a vehicle for a student learning. For example, when presented with a real-world problem to solve, students are learning in the process of developing a solution. Teachers are facilitating the process and the student solutions to the problem becomes an assessment of how well the students can meaningfully apply the concept. This integrated teaching, learning, and assessment experience is in contrast to the traditional assessment where the teaching and learning can come from. Authentic assessment provide multiple paths to demonstration. We all have different strengths and weaknesses in how we learn. Simply, we are different in how we can best demonstrate what we have learned. Regarding the traditional model, answering multiple choice questions does not allow for much variability in how students demonstrate the knowledge and skills they have acquired. Thus, it is recommended that multiple and varied assessment be used so that the sufficient number of samples are obtained and a sufficient variety of measures are used. Variety of measures can be accomplished by assessing the students through different measures that allows you to see them apply what they have learned in different ways and from different per perspectives. We all know that authentic assessment is where the students thoughtfully apply their acquired skills to a new situation or environment. Assessments are authentic if they are realistic, require judgment and innovation, and assist students' ability to effectively 
use their knowledge or skills to complete a task. Thus, the importance and benefits of assessment for learning are enormous. Through authentic assessment, the students will demonstrate the skills and concepts they have learned in real-world context rather than asking to use the root memory. In authentic assessments, students apply concepts to real-world situations by completing meaningful task-based assessments. This type of assessment engages a variety of skills and effectively measures higher level of learning than traditional assessment. Authentic assessment helps students to develop skills, requires students to practice creative thinking and problem solving, and allows for multiple paths to demonstrate knowledge. Most authentic assessments involve complex questions and tasks that do not have straightforward solutions. Students must Research, brainstorm, practice, draft, and refine solutions in order to complete the assignment. Authentic assessment can benefit students by increasing their motivation. Since the assessments are more interesting and students have more control over their approach, providing real-world tasks also helps students build their interpersonal and communication skills. These assessments help instructors make a holistic assessment of students' achievement without relying on quiz questions or putting undue emphasis on memorization of course materials. And these are the references that we use in our video lesson. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for our next video lesson.